uh, yeah, this is how we do it. So <laughs> that's uh, my presentation. That's the topic. So, so far, you heard about uh, our story, Sambita's story. Company's mission, goals, our product, and the science behind it. And uh, now I'm going to share with you, I'm a process engineer, so I'm going to talk about the process. I'm going to tell you, share with you how we do it at Samvita. I want to say a few words about climate change. I believe everyone in this room knows that climate change is uh, real. If you still have questions, you can ask this fellow that his kind's population is going to reduce 30% by 2050 because of climate change, because the amount of greenhouse gases that we are producing, global warming. So what is the solution? As Rob mentioned, it's simple, 4R. Reduce the carbon emission, recycle, reuse, and recover. And this is exactly what we are doing at Semvita by producing sustainable, economical, uh, green bioproduct. So how do we do it? It's a three step. The first step is defining the product. So either this product is a market driven, like a gold hydrogen that Zach already talked about it, that we saw, oh, there's a huge opportunity there. And we went for it, and after that, we found uh, investors for that project. Or it's a product that is coming from our visionary investors. Examples, bioethylene with oxy, uh, sustainable uh, aviation fuel by, it's a, actually a, a strategic project with the United Airlines and oxy chemical. After defining the product, the next step is going out and finding the right strain. So what we are doing, it's really important to, that I mentioned that what we are doing at Semvita is not magic. It's already happening out in nature. So there are microorganisms that are doing uh, this whole process, but in a really, really, really slow pace. So something that may take, I don't know, years, decades, so we find the microorganisms, it's, uh, I think you can see, you know, this is how we <laughs> go out and hunt the microorganism. Not necessarily, I mean, it's kind of close, you know, send a message. So we find the microorganism, we bring it in-house, and then the strain development team that we have, they work on these microorganisms uh, with the genetic tools that they have, the engineers, and make these uh, microorganisms you know, work faster. And then when we have the right microorganisms, we send it to the uh, process optimization and scale up. And there we make sure that with these microorganisms, we can produce that specific product in an industrial scale, which make it you know, economically feasible. So saying that, let's talk about uh, strain development uh, process. So we have Alex here. So Alex, if uh, I miss something, please feel free to correct me. <laughs> So after having the strain, we, the first thing that we do, we start running the strains in a small scale reactor. What you see here is a, one of our eight channel bioreactor. The working volume of this reactor is like 50 ml. It's really small. But in this scale, we can measure uh, and control and record all of the process parameters like temperature, dissolved oxygen, pH, everything. And besides that, we can take sample, and we send that sample to our analytical department. So if you have more questions about the, uh, the type of devices that we have, you can talk to Jonas. She's uh, uh, one of our senior scientists in that department. And what we do there, we measure all of the uh, metabolites that we are producing. It could be internal or external metabolites, so we measure them. And having all of these data, we send it to the bioinformatic uh, department. So the scientists that we have in the bioinformatic department, they write the mass balance, they come up with the mass balance that, okay, we have this substrate that is uh, utilized by uh, bacteria or by yeast, the microorganisms, where does it go? Portion of it goes to catabolic reaction, portion of it goes to anabolic reaction to produce more cells. And we are producing different type of metabolites, right? So they come up with this map and said, okay, the next step is, if I want to make this 
microorganisms grow, grow faster. What should they do? What type of enzyme or gene I have to knock down? Or what should I overexpress? In terms of uh, metabolites or products that we have, which one is the main product that I want to produce? Changing the flux of substrate into that, into that pathway and uh, basically knocking out you know, the other pathway. So this is a process that is happening in the strain development team. And it's a for back and forth, back and forth, till we come with the right strain. And after that, we send the right strain to the process team, to the scale-up team. Again, we go back in the uh, fermentation team. Again, we start with uh, a smaller scale reactor, like 100 mLs. And what we do there, we came up with the kinetic parameters that later on we're going to use it in designing the bioreactor. So kinetic parameters like what is the maximum specific growth rate? What is the maximum uh, specific substrate consumption rate or maximum specific production rate? Those are the main parameters that we need to have before designing reactor. Having those parameters, the next step is optimizing the process parameters. Temperature, pH, what is the optimal DO dissolved oxygen? Next step, optimizing the media composition. Can we use some kind of industrial waste? In, right? It's a problem for other, uh, I don't know, industries that we just use it, you know, it's cheap. And after that, we take the whole step to the bigger size reactor, let's say 10 liter, 100 liter, and there we discuss the different uh, strategy of running reactor. Let's say feeding. Should I run this reactor in a batch mode? Sequencing batch, step fit, continuous, and then talking about the reactor. The reactor is supposed to be continuous CSTR or let's say a plug flow reactor. And then we also come up with all of designing parameters that what should be the size of agitator? What type of uh, mixer should I use? Should it be a uh, Rushton or should it be a uh, marine? And here we also do a lot of modeling, computational fluid dynamic, and with all of the data that we gather we come up with a scale of, we take it from 100 liters to 1,000 liters. And uh, this is a really uh, crucial step. And usually these process take years, and uh, I'm really proud that at Sambita, with the talented team that we had, we managed to achieve this success in a really, really short time, going all the way from 100 ml to 2,000 liter reactor. And uh, now we are building this 2,000 liter reactor here in the United States. And the uh, uh, picture that you see here is the 3D of this 2,000-liter uh, re uh, reactor that we are building. And uh, I expect that uh, this reactor is going to be ready by uh, end of quarter two, 2023. So saying that, uh, I want to talk about uh, our team, that why we are different, we are unique. It's because of the people that we have and because of the investors that we have, the visionary investors that we have, and also the scientists. The scientists that we have, they have a really, really beautiful mind. They see all of these connections and know our scientists, our research scientists, they do not have Im imaginary friends, no. But they have this beautiful mind and some of them are so invested that they know all of these metabolic pathways that I was talking to you by their heart, you know. It's imprinted in their mind. And, uh, where is Garrett? Garrett? Oh, okay. So Garrett is actually, I mean, uh, sorry, man, I'm going to tell it. I mean, so he's really inspired. Uh, he's also a movie guy. So he's really inspired by Prison Break, and he's planning to get a tattoo of this pathway on his back. He's looking for a right uh, tattoo artist. So please, guys, if you know, you know, please, yeah. I'm, to be honest with you, I'm more interested to see that tattoo on your back than the 2,000 liter reactor. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, this is our team. I mean, of course, we had there are more scientists. This is uh, uh, some of the scientists uh, in Houston. Uh, we have uh, more scientists in Houston. Also, we have a Denver office. Uh, this is the, one of the photos that I found. Uh, the credit goes to Navid. Uh, he's our financial analyst, but also a great photographer. Thanks to Navid. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, what you see here, this is the 1,000 liter photobioreactor that we are using to convert uh, carbon dioxide you know, uh, to good stuff. 
And uh, it's also the 100 liter by reactor that we are using for as a, a pilot scale. And uh, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to end up my presentation with one message and one question. So with this talented team that we have, we can produce any biochemical product for you. We have the talent, we have the right tools, and we have great investors. So my question for you guys is, what is the next sustainable green bioproduct that you want us to produce for you? So tell me, what do you want? What do you really, really want? <laughs> <laughs>